Hello everyone, this is a quick video because most of you are asking how to utilize the remaining 15 days and also give some hacks and psychology tricks which you can use during your exams and for that you have to be smart then only you can get more than 135 marks so let's begin if you haven't read anything then it's very uncertain that you will get a good marks in exam but there's a possibility that you can increase your score so listen carefully in case 80 70 percent will be asked from the 12th so almost 40 to 42 questions are purely from the 12th standard so if you haven't done both 11th and 12th then do 12th concepts clearly and then go for the 11th and so the example questions which are given in ncrt uh, which are in blue or pink boxes because most of them come indirectly with some different values go to youtube and search case 80 shortcuts and tricks you will get a bunch of video Watch each of them, don't leave anything and write all the shortcuts in one paper along with an example and revise it every day so that you will remember. When I was giving the exam, it really helped me a lot. I solved a hard integration problem just within 10 seconds by using the tricks and it was not directly, you have to solve a bit, for example, taking sign as a common or separating the numerator and then you can see the pattern and you can apply the trick for inorganic chemistry you have to read the equation they will come directly you can make some mnemonics there is no option you have to remember and there are also mock question papers available on kct so for last one week you can give those mock tests and you can track your performance and i'm telling you again go and solve five to seven years pyqs because when you solve you will understand the same concepts are repeating so you will be shocked so do those first Solve those concepts first and then go to the remaining concepts and solve each question paper at least three times. I solved almost five times and when I was solving fifth time, I almost remembered the, which option is the correct one for each question. So give the last seven days for the PYQs and if you are not confident and if you haven't done anything, then don't take stress. You can do. That's what I said. First go and learn the 12th concepts which are reoccurring in every PYQ and then go for the 11th one. And if you really want to score and you haven't done anything, then you should study 10 hours a day because it's very high time. And now I'm going to tell you the tricks which I have got to know during a case 8 exam. Solve easy and medium questions first, then go for the hard questions. Because why will you waste your time solving hard questions all of them have the same marks right and you come up with a question which you really don't know how to solve it and you don't know anything about it then tick the option b because i noticed option b has a more probability to be the correct one and i did that many a times and almost 70 percent was right and don't do this if you know something about the concept otherwise just go and solve and try it if you really don't know then only do this okay and start solving in reverse order Yes, because most of the time they kept hard and medium questions initially and they kept the easy ones at the end. It happened with me when I was giving the maths exam. I was not able to solve the initial 10 questions quickly so that lowered my confidence and I literally sat blank for 4 minutes. And then I thought let's try from the end and I got to know the easy questions are at the end. And then I applied the same thing for the physics and chemistry. I started in the reverse order. So this is what you can do in the last 15 days. And don't waste time, use them effectively. And that's it, it was a quick video. I have not done much editing in this. If you like my video, then do share and subscribe. And you can follow me on other socials. And comment down if you have any suggestions or any doubts. I will reply to everyone. Thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.